Hello everybody, Matt here again, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the album All This and World War II. First of all, All This and World War II is actually a soundtrack album that goes with a film of the same name. You may have seen this record floating around in bargain bins or just in the shop, and you may not have been aware that it actually is a big tribute to the Beatles. Personally, I didn't know about it until a few years ago. This film was released by 20th Century Fox in 1976, and only was in theaters for about two weeks. It has never had an official re-release, it's never been released on tape, and it has never been released on DVD. Now I know what you're thinking, what could be so bad about this film that they wouldn't want to release it again? The thing of it is, is that the film isn't, I wouldn't say necessarily bad, it's just very, very artistic. What they did was they took old newsreel footage about World War II, they then spliced in clips of 20th Century Fox movies, and then added these songs being performed as a tribute to the Beatles. And it sounds like it would be like a cool art project. It doesn't seem like this would be something that people would invest money in for a major motion picture, but they did. And it really did kind of backfire on them. Uh, a lot of critics just hated the movie. The soundtrack, however, is another story altogether. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out for you here. Um, for starters, the packaging on this is really, really cool. It's uh, a set uh, more common that you would see and stuff you would get off TV. I really, this is what drew me to it. Originally, I saw the cover having no idea what it was about, and then I turned it over and I saw, wait a minute, these are all Beatles songs, and they've actually got some good bands on here. You've got Elton John, uh, Roy Wood, Keith Moon, Jeff Lynn, uh, the Bee Gees are on here. Yes, this was predating Sgt. Pepper on this one, and you've also got... Uh, Peter Gabriel playing Strawberry Fields Forever. You even have the Four Seasons on here. Um, they, and it's a good cross-section of Beatles tunes. It's, it's, it's later stuff, but um, very, very cool. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the package for you here. They were really big on the art of this, of this packaging here. You've got this booklet here that contains all the lyrics to all the songs, and then it also has artwork to accompany each song. So we're going to go ahead and open it here. There's Ambrosia with their Magical Mystery Tour cover, which is really good. The Elton John contribution here, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, actually features John Lennon on bass. He's credited as, he's credited as Dr. Winston O'Boogie, um, but uh, word kind of got out that it was him, so pretty cool on that. And that track there was actually released uh, earlier and they decided to include it on the album. Outside of that, it's got a good cross-section of stuff. Um, Definitely more hits than misses when it, as compared to something like Sgt. Pepper's Only Hearts Club Band. Uh, here we've got the actual packaging. Here, I'll go ahead and open that up for you. Very cool. We've got that. Uh, the records themselves are in great shape, and um, that's typically what you can find uh, with this particular release because, again, it wasn't that popular, so a lot of releases of it just kind of sat on shelves or in people's collections, and nobody ever really uh, knew what happened to them, but it's, it's a pretty cool release. Personally, I really like here... I don't know if you can see it, but the guy with the guitar, uh, the soldier with the guitar, I like that image uh, right there. So this is kind of an oddity in my Beatles collection, but one that I'm actually very happy to have, you know. Um, if you take away the context of this really weird movie that it was a part of, it's a pretty neat conversation piece. And I would actually recommend if you see this, pick it up or seek out the tracks online. They're pretty good as well. But um, that's kind of another odd entry in the Beatles catalog. So. That is all I have to say about all this in World War II. I will see you guys next time.